How's it going everybody? Time for another great Mr. Post style. Whoops, I got a cigarette. Video. And tonight, well tonight is our burgers and beer video. That's right, it's burger time and tapper on the IRK. I did one of these, I don't know, a year or two or so ago. I think on the ColecoVision, maybe on the Atari 2600 I played these games. <clears throat> maybe both. I can't remember. And now I'm going to do the uh, arcade ports. And really what I want to do here is I put Tapper on my iArcade right after the MIA, the custom arcade board came out. And back then they weren't putting uh, the uh, config files on there. So whenever they put the game on there, they just had one joystick and one button. And the one button did your uh, pour and serve for Tapper. And as you know, in the arcade, you actually had the, uh, the keg tap that did your pour and serve and then your other joystick would do your running back and forth across the bar and up and down to serve each customer. So now there is a uh, somebody changed, they put the new instruction layout for the two sticks in the game folder and they have the custom configuration where you can use both sticks, one for moving around and the other stick on your iArcade is your pour and serve so you're a lot closer to the arcade now so i really wanted to do that so in this video here i'm going to play it the way they first had it with the push button and then i'm going to go ahead and uh, load that new config file for me and for you right here on camera and put the new game file on we'll just do it all right on camera and then play it the new way the closer to the arcade way and the other thing i want to do is burger time came free i believe from my arcade itself as a free download when I bought my cabinet. and uh, But as a lot of people know, when you play Burger Time, uh, when the iArcade cabinet came, it was an eight-way joystick. Uh, with eight-way games, when you're climbing ladders and stuff like that, like in Donkey Kong and games like Burger Time, a lot of times you can get stuck on the ladder and then you get killed. Uh, four ways, the way to go with those games, the way they were meant to be, and a lot smoother. So what I want to do with that is just give it a try in the eight-way mode. And as you know, with uh, Glenn's beautiful board that we have now, we can just hit that button and go to the four-way gate and see where the difference is. So that's what tonight's video is. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll play a little bit and just show the difference and see how it feels with that. And I'm not a whole lot of gameplay. It's real close to bedtime now, and I am really feeling wonky. I'm getting the crushing head, head, the floaty, and the uh, wonkiness. So uh, I think there'll be a part two to this video where I do nothing but play those two games for a burgers and beer part two, part three, or whatever. So I won't do a wrap up to this. We'll just go straight to me playing and then pushing the new config file and everything. And. Uh, trying out the eight-way, four-way gates with Burger Time. So, thank you for joining me, and here's the video. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Boom! Okay, I want to make this video here. This is my burgers and beer. Actually, I think I did a burgers and beer video with Coleco Vision version of these games a year or two back. But now I'm going to do the arcade versions. This is just to show what we have here for Tapper and Burger Time on the arcade. Now, Burger Time is an official one that came out. I think it was one of the free downloads when I bought my arcade. And then Tapper I put on here. Now, Tapper, uh, when I first put it on here, they put it on the Pax R Us Discord uh, back when people were first putting games on there this summer. And it was before they were doing the advanced config files. So they just put it in there with one joystick and... Uh, just a fire button would do your pour and serve. So that's the way I still have it set up. But now somebody has an advanced config file out there to make one your move button or joystick and the other your pour and serve stick, like your beer tap and tapper. So I think I'm going to try to put those files on here and uh, see if that works out for us. So we'll try that and then we'll play Burger Time. Uh, and before you only had your eight-way gate with your original board. Now that I have Glenn's, we have a four-way, so we're going to see if that makes a difference. So let's try that out. So here is Tapper. 
uh, the way it first came out on the Pax RS and Discord with the push button. You see, move, and uh, Mr. A button here is uh, your pour and serve button. Let's get it booted up here. still be tough this way. You have to press it twice, just like you would use your, uh, uh -oh. yeah, I didn't want to do that. Just like you would use your, uh, beer tap, push up and then down. Oh, my God. 
config file so let's stop this part of the video and start with my phone if I can find my mouse see let's do it let's do it All right here in my download files is my tapper one is for the game I'm gonna overwrite the one that I have my mystery encoder that is my game file and there is my config and with the config I just drop it onto my desktop and I'm gonna try to do that here my mouse is being a pain whoops see everything is being a pain in the ass right now stop it this really sucks when the mouse doesn't want to work on the surface there. <laughs> Tapper. Up above. Anus. It's my mouse being a pain. Move my tapper to my desktop. Let me zoom out so you can see. It's over there off to the side, my tapper config. And now we go over to our tapper package file we got from our PAX RS. I'm going to highlight it. Boom. I'm gonna copy it. Boom. Then go to our I I games I I I I games. Good lord. That's our I games folder. I I games for our I I arcade. We're just gonna paste it in there. I have to hit continue up here for our window. It's there. We're going to go to our mystery installer board and we're going to push it. It's there. When we push it, it's going to show up on our iArcade. Hopefully. That the game is there. 
it's going to tell us that it's already there. So that it's already there because we have tapper installed, but there it is. Our arcade. We want to add it. Don't hit delete all. That'll delete all your games. We're adding it. Add all games. We added it. And hit exit. And since it said it was pushed before, you know, it's a little confused. And we're just overwriting what we had there. Should have the new instructions on there. Well, we just need to get another surface and a new mouse pad down here. And then we have our config installer here. We need to push that new config. We already selected our device, that's our iArcade. So now we're going to select what config file we want to push. We have it on our desktop. We should find it. There it is, Tapper. We're going to open it. We're going to push the config. Make sure it says that. That's Tapper. Okay. So it's pushed. We can reboot our whole system from here. And you'll see it'll reboot our iArcade once we push it. Reboot. iArcade turned off. There's me. Hey, how you doing? Love you. Now I turn off the power the whole way to my arcade every night, so it resets my time and takes me to the past. So I don't really have to do this, but with that config, you can fix your clock. You can hit fix clock and it'll set your time and date for you each time. <clears throat> Since I no longer have the arcade connected to the internet. Now we're back up and running. And I can set the time and everything if I really wanted to, although when I go to bed tonight I'm going to power it down just because the trackball and the gate switch here, they uh, they stay lit even if you turn off the power to the cabinet. So and My mouse is being an asshole again. But I can, I can fix clock. See up there. Click on fix clock. Boom. We fixed the clock. Date and time updated. Yay. Okay. And that's as easy as it is. Now, our new and improved tapper uh, instructions should be on there. I turned down the sound. You want to hear that good annoying sound, don't you? Nice and loud. The instructions should be changed now. Should show. It should, as long as that pushed. Should show the two stick. Hopefully. Even if it didn't. The twin stick should work on it. So, there it is. It pushed. So now instead of showing all the buttons like it used to, it's showing move and pour. So, alright. Time to edit this back and go to gameplay and see how it works. Maybe I did myself a favor doing this. Maybe I didn't do myself a favor. It might make the game that much harder. Let's find out. Okay, well, we changed our settings here. We changed, we pushed the new tapper file. Like I said, we can see it's all changed on screen. So let's see if it changed, the config worked. And let's see if our poor stick works. Or Beer tap works for this game now. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It's firing up. There's the game. Title screen. We added coin. We 
We've got mush. We've got mush. Oh, hair pie. Tap joystick. Use joystick to run. Let's see if we can pour our beer with our double stick. Yeah. It works. It's working. We got a kind of a new twin stick game. Whoops. <laughs> and I messed up anyway. So it's not exactly like the real tapper. You push down twice on the stick now. You don't push up and down. But it's closer. We're not just pushing a button. I'm curious if the button works. Nope, button doesn't work anymore. So great job with the config. If it was uh, honky that did this. getting your beer for you. So, oh, he ran me out of Dodge. He ran me out of Dodge. We'll call this a part one. I'll do another one, a part two of burgers and beer when I have more time. Whoops, double bearder. Double bearder. Uh, and I'll actually, uh, I'll actually play these games, but I just wanted to show that you can do it. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Let me tell you that. And uh, that's pretty slick. So, I like it. I like it. Daddy like. Daddy like. Daddy like. My name is Poe. I'm using two sticks to put in my name. Because I can do that now. Because I can fig. I can fig. You didn't config. I can fig. I can figure it out. I can figure it out. Pretty sweet. We're closer to the real thing than we were yesterday. Than we were earlier today. Coming in the bar, running her mouth already. Or ho. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's it. That's it. Those guys are leaving with their mugs. They're like, we're stealing their Budweiser mugs.
All right, guys. That was Burgers and Beer by Poe. Uh, we'll, we'll do a part two to this. Or is it part three? I did Burgers and Beer before with ColecoVision version of this game. Maybe it was Atari. Uh-oh. Go back. Go back. Pap. Pap. Don't let me go back. Pack a daddy. Pack. 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 Pack number one. Mr. Pack style here. Time for another great Mr. Pack style video. So that's how you do it if you have the MIA. And if you have the config, I hope you could see everything when I was filming with my uh, phone there. If not, I don't know. You know, I tried. I tried. Where's my mouse? <laughs> Nacho, come here, Nacho. No biting, no bite. Ooh, no biting. Oh, Nacho, stop. <laughs>